free. Download Friday. Tramp Tendo. What is going on, people? It's free download Friday, your favorite day, and my favorite day has returned, and we're checking out Surge VST. There's been a whole bunch of people that have messaged me telling me to check it out that it is the next best thing and yeah av i think you're gonna love it well we're gonna find out anyways it's a free download so i ain't tripping and the link will be in the description boxes for both windows and mac and it works in all daws let's see how good this vst synth is is that even a sentence whatever so when you click on the link in the description uh, it will take you to the search website right here and it says free open source hybrid synthesizer uh, And then you get to choose which version that you're trying to install. So for Mac OS you will install the 64-bit AU and VST 3 No, I do not know if this actually works in the newest OS for MacBook. so I don't want to hear that crying in the comment section You're gonna do it anyways, aren't you guys? I know you're gonna do it but for Windows users, it's pretty easy because you have 64-bit VST3 and then you have 32-bit. So whatever version of your OS uh, that you have, I would, like for me, Windows 10, 64-bit. So I would download that. So I click on it, I choose keep, boom. And then it downloads and then we'll go into the installation process. So once it's downloaded over here, I'm just gonna click on that and it's gonna pop up and tell me, um, Windows protect your PC because it's free and they didn't certify it. So that's the reason why it pops up like that. Uh, you know, cause you gotta certify your software through uh, Microsoft. And I'm just gonna choose run anyways. Click yes, you know, cause they're gonna ask you to verify it, you know, just to make sure, are you sure you want to install the software type deal? Uh, just choose, I accept right here. I accept the agreement because you know, it's the terms. They're trying to keep it <laughs> all incidents from happening out of their hands, lawsuits and all that stuff. That's what that legal jargon is in the front here. Uh, I'm going to install it into my plugins common, I believe. Uh, well, I can go and I can dictate it, I, I presume. So let's go over here. Let's do custom installation and uh, go next. Eh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just go and uh, use full install. There we go. And I'm just gonna do install here. And it's gonna install anytime now. We're just waiting on it to, to happen. And it's done. So finish, just start up your DAW of choice. Uh, if you're running FL Studio, of course, uh, it'll be a little different from running it in Ableton Live. So I'm using Ableton Live right now. I'm just gonna go into my preferences. And then I'm gonna wait for it to pop up. Let's go. And here we are. So the next thing I need to do is scan. I'm gonna do a scan. It will take a while, so I ain't gonna hold y'all up. So this is the beat that I came up with. I'm just gonna play it straight up. Hey. I know most people look up to me for trap beats, I guess, but that really isn't my steez anymore. Far, I get more enjoyment out of doing stuff like uh, New Jungle and, and drum and bass, but yeah, you can use it on a trap beat. I mean, it, it is up to you. Uh, but other than that though, uh, it's my first observations of this free plugin is, you know, I explored it, see what it does. Of course it's resizable, it's vectoral. Uh, and it seems to be a pretty much a standard with all plugins these days. Some plugins do it better than others, I would say. 
Uh, and this one is is fair. I mean, the UI in itself, to me, I mean, if I was really to judge it, it's ugly as hell. Uh, and it also reminds me of Massive. And when I read some of the write-ups on it, and people were saying, yeah, it reminds them of Massive. Uh, more importantly, I guess I could get into some of the sounds here. Uh, let's pull up a new version of Surge over here, and one I'm not using on this track, because I am going to save that beat. I actually like it. Uh, sounds like a Keygen type beat. So... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so let's play with this here. Uh, the Novation Launch Key is really dope for Ableton Live. It's, it's dope for FL Studio as well, but the Ableton Live integration and the mutation feature and the deviate feature. Whew. Boy, it's out there. It goes crazy. Um, there are, I already did a review on it. I guess uh link in the description box, maybe if I remember, but uh, yeah, let's check out some more sounds here. They got poly Simpson stuff like that, you know, Sounds good. It sounds pretty good. I mean, for a free plugin, I mean, shoot, dang, you know, it, it, it sees expectations. Uh, I'm not really trying to deep dive into it, but I can try to make sense of this ugly ass UI. Uh, <laughs> uh, first, you have two different layers. Uh, that is actually pretty nice for a free synthesizer or any synthesizer that have two layers. Uh, you have three oscillators uh, per scene uh though i refer to them as layers and yeah you can mess with a couple of things this is a wave table sim uh you can mess with pitch here uh, this is one of the the acid patches from the sequencer or sequence category Oh, it has MPE options for those who want to, to use the MPE feature. But uh, other than that, you got to have an MPE control, like a C board, C bring, whatever. So tell me how you feel about this video. I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section. As you see, I'm not using my Lavier microphone. I know you guys are enjoying the crisp uh, Ashton microphone, Ashton Origins microphone for those who are wondering what type of microphone I'm using. But other than that though, Surge, pretty decent. Uh, you know, I, I, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's free. Why in the hell am I even judging this?